Fellow Tree Walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless but before we go on, I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So, after a busy night shift last night, with one of my patient's heart rates going up to 175 beats per minute SVT, and finding my other 90 year old patient with COVID and agitation almost getting out of their lap belt just like Houdini. I just had to vent out while I was in the locker room after 8 a.m., which was the time I finally got off shift and got changed out of my scrubs. But after feeling a little bit better, knowing that I just finished a set of six shifts in the past eight nights, I got home to post-shift nap for only 53 minutes before getting restless and just editing some live from last week footage on the laptop. But on to another productive thing that I ended up doing today. After visiting this place quite a long time ago, the wife had made an Uber Eats order at the local Mexitaco restaurant, of which I pretended to be an Uber Eats delivery driver and picked this order up for us to enjoy this spectacular feast of not just tacos, but these large burritos as well. Of which, after finishing this meal, I thought were pretty filling and amazingly delicious. But anyways, quickly flashing back to yesterday before my shift, where I went to downtown Toronto to visit the Eaton Center. Since, as you guys can see here, my windshield wipers for the Mini were acting up, I went out to purchase some new ones for me to place on the car later on this week. And while waiting in the checkout lanes, based on these previous videos of me playing with these puzzles, guess who found this goodie of a keychain that made me say, take my money. Also at the self checkouts, after hearing a familiar accent come out from one of the machines, guess again who was mind blown with this experience checking out in a different language. Pakilagay ang iyong bag sa bagging area at pinto din ang simulan ang pag-scan. That's so funny. Ipasok, iswipe o itap ang iyong card at sundin ang mga tagubilin sa pin pad para kumpletuhin ang transaksyon. So cool. <laughs> Anywho, before I try to catch up on some lost sleep tonight, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my buddies out there who I used to play house league soccer with back in our youth. This birthday shout out goes out to you, John Carlo. Happy birthday, Carlo. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Guys, my sleep pattern is messed up. Waking up after only a four and a half hour nap at the early hour of quarter after four in the morning, way before the time of the sunrise, I got up to be productive to do some overdue laundry that were piled up after doing a stretch of six shifts in the past eight nights, then driving the wife downtown for her day shift with these beautiful cotton candy skies among the skyscrapers. And speaking of scraping, recalling the time when the Mini's wiper blades were no longer effective, and me buying new blades for her, I took some time to try to install some new wiper blades that I bought her, but unfortunately with minimal success. And just why you ask? Well, for some reason the new wiper blades were not keeping constant contact with the windshield, and after more than 60 minutes of trying to troubleshoot and figure this thing out, I got some advice via YouTube, physically bending the wiper arm a little bit, which had resulted in these results. And so I decided to test these babies out in a real world situation. As outside, it started to rain, snow, and hail a little bit. And to my surprise, we actually had some success. 
But guys, on to our birthday greetings of the day! With the first birthday shout out going out to one of my high school friends who I remember visiting back when she worked at National Sports. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Allison! Happy birthday, Allison! We next got a birthday greeting to one of my family friends back in elementary school who was quite a talent on the soccer field. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jade! Happy birthday, Jade! We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my family friends who I know through my cousin Ray. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Charlie. Happy birthday, Charlie. Next on the list, we got a birthday shout out to another family friend of mine who you guys remember I ran into randomly twice in the same day over the span of several hours. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Buwan. Happy birthday, Buwan. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to another friend of mine who you guys know has made several cameos in previous Live From Last Week episodes in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you V. Happy birthday V. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah guys, speaking of birthdays... Guess who probably couldn't get sleep today? Because they were too excited to plan a surprise birthday party tonight. So to start off with decorations, I went to a place that we've been to to print photos in the past. To print 4x6 pictures of me and the surprise theme of scrubs for tonight. And also going to Dollar Tree to get some other decorations in the form of balloons just like I did on Father's Day. Then, funnily enough, trying to navigate the mini with all these balloons surrounding me in the car. I also had added to this collection by doing something much like I did last year, which was to go on Facebook Marketplace to find more free balloons, of which I had an adventure looking for and finding at a local downtown apartment, thanking the Facebooker for the kind generosity and gift, Thank you so much! <laughs> <laughs> then trying to maneuver and fit all these helium balloons inside my mini. I next went to a place that I booked a room with from last week's episode. Hosting a secret surprise scrub themed birthday event at the one, the only, Fox on Wellesley. Getting up early after sleeping less than five hours. I got into the mini forgetting that we stuffed all those helium balloons in there last night. Ready to do another early morning drop off of the wife downtown for her day shift. With this interesting idea of paying it forward for the fact that we got free balloons off of Facebook Marketplace yesterday evening. After making our way to the world renowned hospital for sick children. Taking a quick moment to unload the big bouquet of balloons from the mini, the wife had this amazing idea of dropping by this hospital and donating some of our balloons to the babies and children of whom are staying here. And afterwards, once I got home and checked my phone, seeing that the wife left me some of these text messages here of how many babies and children appreciated these balloons as gifts, it pulled a little bit on my heartstrings on how we affected and impacted these babies and children on this day. And while I was here, I also realized that since this Live From Last Week episode, the update on the new Sick Kids Bridge and new building have finally been completed. 
Anywho, after getting home and finally being able to catch up on a bit of sleep, looking outside my condo window, seeing something that I haven't seen in quite a while, the pigeons outside my building decided to put on yet another spectacular air show. And guys, speaking of flights, currently in a stretch where I have just over a week off of work, Guess who has been doing a little bit of research, trying to find a last minute vacation? Finally, finding something that were around these prices just a month ago, but today booked a five day vacation for almost half the price. Looks like I'm going back to Mexico, guys. Meaning I better get myself in shape, doing sit ups and push ups in order to get that beach body ready by next week. Anyways, while we're on this high note, we'll just do our birthday greetings of the day. Starting out with a birthday shout out to a friend that I made traveling to Palawan over a decade ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you Nori. Happy birthday Nori. We next got a birthday greeting to one of my titas out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you Tita Nok Nok. Happy birthday Tita Nok Nok. Next up, we got a birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers who you guys know has made several cameos in Live From Last Week videos in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you Joseph. Happy birthday Joseph. We also got a birthday shout out to one of my family friends out there who I partied with in Bali for my brother-in-law's wedding and who I last saw at Ramos's birthday. This birthday shout out goes out to you Puno. Happy birthday Puno. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my other former co-workers of whom you guys know has made several cameos in previous Live From Last Week videos and whose wedding I attended earlier this year. This birthday shout out goes out to you Tyler. Happy birthday Ty. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Now, moving on to when I got these babies a couple weeks back. Tonight will be my first time trying these Steph Curry shoes on an indoor court, subbing in to play some indoor volleyball on one of our friends, Syra's volleyball team. Winning all three sets in last night's match with Cyrus' team, I can definitely say that these new Steph Curry shoes are pretty lucky and they work like a charm. I mean, just look at this kill that I got from this perfect set from Syra. And afterwards, parting ways with the team in order to pick up the wife downtown from her day shift. The wife and I craved some food from a place that we haven't visited in a while. Checking out one of our favorites on Kennedy called Hana Ramen. And guys, this place with their delicious soups, broths, and noodles, to be honest, I believe was a great place to have dinner. And did I mention that their bowls come with one free refill of noodles? Nom nom nom, nom 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 nom. But now onto this morning where I got up way earlier than I wanted to. Along with the minimal hours of sleep that I got in, I decided to just get up to be productive in order to finish off that live from last week episode 150 all the way up until the time that the sun actually came out. And once it did, I was able to take a video of those Scarborough pigeons flying around with their air show once again. Anyways, motivated by the fact that the wife actually went out and got her look changed, 
from having her nails look like this over the past month to her showing off to me how her new manicure looks now. I decided to go to a local hairstylist that I went to in one of my previous times that I got my hair cut with the challenge of her styling my hair like this. So here's my before my haircut video and now my after reveal. Not exactly quite like the picture, but I was still happy with this haircut. But let's see how the wife reacted to this new hairstyle. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Now afterwards, we're calling a couple of friends going to the Scarborough Town Center recently. Coming here for the first time since this Live From Last Week episode. I witnessed firsthand that they've already got Santa's workshop already ready at this time in November. And since I was already at the mall recalling the time where I said bye bye to my 2023 sunglasses of the summer, I got a steal of a deal getting these babies at the local Walmart for only 10 bucks. I also went across the hall to Miniso to look at and take some time to buy these slides for only 7 bucks. Then I went to the local winners to check out these bench winter mittens that I bought for only 20 bucks. I had also this evening put myself up for a mission to get a coveted item from a Duave that I just might need for my vacation starting next week. So I trekked down to 52 in the dark and eventually secured a Duave's Bubba and made it ready for vacation mode. But moving on back at the condo where I'm finally at my bedroom to get some sleep in. We'll first do a birthday greeting to one of my family friends of whom I remember attending fam jams and picnics with in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you Carlene. Happy birthday Carlene. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my friends who I remember winning a championship with for their indoor volleyball team. This birthday shout out goes out to you Mia. Happy birthday Mia. Up next, we got a birthday greeting to one of my family friends who you guys remember made several cameos in previous Live From Last Week videos in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ronalyn. Happy birthday, Ronalyn. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to the nephew who you guys have seen grow up before our eyes over the past couple of years. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Gabby. Happy birthday, Gabby. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. First of all, today is Remembrance Day. A day to honor all those who have served and are currently serving in our Canadian forces, fighting for our rights and freedoms here at home. And for that, I just want to personally thank you guys for your service lest we forget. But now, before we go on, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends who I remember drove us all the way to Chicago to catch an away TFC game. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Dwayne. Happy birthday, Dwayne. We also got a birthday shout out to my cousin who attended the surprise Scrubs birthday party that we had last week. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ray. Happy birthday, Nonoi Ray. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Alright guys, on to this morning. Waking up after a 5 hour sleep, and getting up at the early hour just before 5 a.m., I ended up just editing some Laugh From Last Week videos in the dark. Once again, way before the time of the sunrise. But once the sun was up, I dropped off both the wife and G to a place that we've been to a couple of times over the past couple of weeks. To Oshawa's Royal McLaughlin Gallery for them to coordinate a wedding that they've been preparing for. But not before stopping by a place in Whitby that the parents enjoy going for lunch. Here at the Pita Deli in Whitby. I then took the GO train from the Durham College Oshawa GO station, enjoying this Montreal smoked meat pita that was almost as big as my face, finishing this whole thing before I got off the train at the Exhibition GO station to go to the Argos CFL Eastern final game 
with this guy. <laughs> We then went to the parking lot for the pregame tailgate, where we took some videos with some dedicated fans there. Yeah, I want to come in, of hey, course, with you. Yo. Hey, go Argos! Go Argos! As well as this living legend, who I appreciate for his articles analyzing the Argos, on the official Toronto Argonauts Facebook fan page. Yo, the one and only legend, Marcus. Yo, Ready for a big win today. Right? Let's go, Argos! Let's go, Argos! Woo! Let's go, Argos! But yeah, it was definitely great seeing and meeting new fans at the game. Yo, I'm going to try to find this guy next time yeah. I'm at the Rock. <laughs> Argos game. Go, Rock! Let's go! Let's go! Woo, Tim, baby! That I'm looking forward to seeing at next year's tailgates. Anyways, it's time to check out some highlights from today's game. And after a disappointing performance by the Argos in this year's playoffs, in consolation, I was able to see up close and in person the halftime show featuring the Canadian rock band The Trues. <laughs> With realistically the point of view from me being only five foot seven, being surrounded all around me with guys that are at least six foot two or over. <laughs> but after enjoying my time with and saying farewell to Twan, Yo, hey Twan, it was a great time running into you, meeting up with you, and going to the Argos game, man. Let's go! Let's go! Oh! I got on the GO train to hurry back to Oshawa to meet up with my childhood buddy who we just saw a couple weeks back, my boy Shaughnessy, to watch a local GCW wrestling event. Yeah, high five! Ha. In East Oshawa. So after the event last night, I was able to meet a new wrestler that I haven't seen wrestle before. Hey, great performance. Thank What's you. your name? Wanda. Wanda. Wanda, we were cheering for you. I mean, I was pretty mean yeah, you were cheering yeah, for me. Yeah, Thank but you. everybody was saying Wanda, so. That's true, I did hear it. Yeah. I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, good job. We'll Thank see you, you next time. As well as another couple of wrestlers that I always say hi to whenever I'm at these wrestling events in Oshawa. Yo, great matches guys. Andrew so Love, Gunner Lang, 
We'll see you guys again next time. You know yeah, buddy. <laughs> then, before picking up the wife after her wedding coordinating event at the gallery was done, I took time to visit Tita Mone back at home. But yeah, guys, after getting back late night to the condo to take a quick nap, we drove to the airport to fly out for that spontaneous trip slash vacay that I booked earlier this week. And we have arrived in Mexico. Welcome to Cancun. So now that you guys know where I am, we'll do quick birthday shout outs to a classmate of mine from university. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Shoko. Happy birthday, Shoko. We also got a birthday shout out to one of my friends who was also a fellow Mini Cooper owner. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Novi. Happy birthday, Novi. Next, we got a birthday shout out to one of my friends back in my Wysick days from back when she used to live in Toronto. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Nadja. Happy birthday, Nadja. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my family friends who I met in Michigan during Ellen May's debut. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Leslie. Happy birthday, Leslie. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After that brief recap of our stay here on our first day in Riviera Cancun, we got even more in store for today. Being disrupted from getting a good sleep once again, randomly I had woken up after choking on my own saliva, resulting in getting up after a poor two hour nap, having to take my trusty puffer, but luckily able to go back to sleep again, in order to get up early to catch the beautiful morning Cancun sunrise and also seeing this cruise liner along the horizon. And after looking at our balcony jacuzzi, which I definitely used last night with our balcony suite seats during a nighttime concert, I'm gonna once again do our birthday shout outs from this exact balcony. With the first birthday greeting going out to one of my high school friends that I remember back in our HT days. This birthday shout out goes out to you Stormy. Happy birthday Stormy. We also got a related birthday shout out to one of the best mothers in the world who looked after me and my brothers back when we were younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you Auntie Pam. Happy birthday mother. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today and belated ones are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, I've got lots planned for today, our second day here at the Royalton Riviera Cancun. Having a pretty productive morning with it only being 10 o'clock. But unfortunately, you'll have to tune in to next week's episode for a summary of today. And with that guys, we'll wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.